All right, here's an example of a multi-factor uh, productivity measure. We got uh, Joanna French currently working 12 hours a day to produce 240 dolls. She's a doll maker. She is thinking as she changes the paint used for the facial facial features and fingernails on these dolls, she could increase her rate to 360 dolls per day. So apparently the paint she uses now slows her way down. You know, and it could be that that's oil-based paint as opposed to uh, uh, acrylic paint. All right. So anyway, she increases from 240 dolls to 360 dolls per day. And at least at this stage of the game, it says it doesn't tell you what else is going on. It does give you some costs. All right, so she works 12 hours a day, and she thinks that her time is worth $10 an hour. So there's your labor cost of $120 a day. If she spends total material cost for each doll is $3.50. So each doll costs $3.50 of pieces to make. Takes 20 bucks in supplies, expendable supplies every day. Uses some energy. You need some, some electricity and crap like that of $4 a day. So now we've got some inputs and some outputs. And if we measure this, let's start by looking at the uh, viewed from the View this, part A, view this from a total multi-factor productivity perspective. What's your productivity at present? So for productivity at present, we need a measure of output and a measure of input. And then productivity is equal to output divided by input. Okay? So I know the output is currently $240 a day. If I measure the inputs and spell everything correctly, come on, where's my spell check when I need it? There we go. Inputs, I have some labor, and that's a dollar $120 a day. I have some materials, and that's basically the number of dolls you produce times the material cost, which is $3.50 each. Okay, so that's $840 of materials. I've got some, uh, back up to the problem, I've got some energy costs, which are $4 a day. And keep formatting everything up like it has dollars. And I got some $20 in expendables, in supply expendables. and that'd be twenty dollars a day. So there's my total inputs those add up to nine hundred and eighty four dollars. So if my input is nine hundred and eighty four dollars then my productivity currently two hundred and forty dollars for every nine hundred and eighty four dollars of input cost and let me reformat that because that's not currency. That's actually just the number of dolls per dollar of input. Okay, so the, per dollar that I spend, or that Jane French spends, she gets 0 0.24 dolls per dollar. All right, and under the new paint, she's going to go from $240 to $360. So with the same exact, exact, if it was all the exact same inputs, then you would expect to see the productivity increase. But remember that the input cost actually goes up. It goes up because for every doll that you create, it costs you $3.50. All right? So part A is viewed in, in a multi-factor productivity perspective, her productivity at present is 0 0.24 dolls per dollar of input. Using the new paint, because she can just basically create more dolls in the same amount of time, that take her up to 0 0.26 dolls 
per dollar of input, which is, that would be more, so that increases it. However, what if the new paint raises the material cost? Okay, so this is part B. It raises material cost by 50 cents. Okay, well, I copy everything over here. The Instead of being $360 at $3.50, now it's $4 per doll. And note what happened to the productivity. The productivity went down. Instead of going from 24 up to 26, if the new dolls cost money, uh, it cost an extra 50 cents per doll, it goes from 0.24 dolls per dollar to only 0.23 dolls per dollar. My productivity would actually drop. So if the new cost of the, if this fantastic paint speeds her up, but it costs more than, if it costs 50 cents per doll, she's actually worse off uh, cost-wise. She's got more dolls, but it costs her more input. And then part C says, if she uses the new paint, but what amount could her material cost increase without reducing the total multi-factor productivity? That is, going from 0.24 to 0 0.24, how much can the materials cost increase? Okay, well, you get $360 of input for all these output, or $360 of output for all this input, and the input would be $120 of labor plus $20 of supplies plus $4 of energy plus $360 times X the material cost. Okay, so if that's what it costs and you want to have the material and if you want to have the productivity which would be that $360 divided by that total cost and you want that to still be equals to equals to 0 0.24 so right now our productivity is 0 0.24 how much can that cost go up without dropping the productivity and we've seen at 50 cents productivity drops to 0 0.23 dollars per dollar so Plugging this in and solving for X will actually tell me what I have to do. I have to keep the cost on the on the paint. I have to keep it from increasing the cost on the dolls by more than X. Okay, so if I multiply both sides by 120, and I'm going to gather terms, so 120 plus 20 plus 4 will be 144 plus 360 x times 360 divided by 144 plus 360x would be equal to 0 0.24 times 144 plus 360x. So all I'm doing is multiplying both sides by the same number and that'll keep uh, from my algebra days I know that'll keep them even all right but what that does is simplify the left hand side of the equal sign so now that would be 360 equals to 0 0.24 times 144 plus 360x okay so now if I divide both sides by 0 0.24 The 0 0.24 drops out on that side. 360 divided by 0.24 is 1,500. So I've got 1,500 is equal to 144 plus 360x. Subtract 144 from both sides, and I've got 1,356 equals to 360x. So x, the amount that I can spend per doll, would be equal to 
1356 divided by 360, which is about $3.77. Well, right now it's $3.50. The cost of the doll can go up by no more than about $0.27 cents, uh, before it, it actually starts to hurt the productivity. And I could actually just plug that in just to check. All my other formulas were working fine. This one will work just the same way. And if I put the cost in here, at 3.77 then I end up with basically the same productivity. So from a managerial standpoint what I want to do is yeah if that new paint's free uh, it's a great idea. If the new paint costs a dime it's still a good idea. If the new paint costs more than 27 cents additional cost then it's a bad idea because it'll start cutting down my productivity.